back to my channel. If you don't know who I am, my name is Kayla. I make new videos every week on a bunch of different stuff. Beauty, fashion, lifestyle, moving, house stuff. I have a lot of that coming up. So as I'm sure you can tell by the title, today's video is going to be a room tour. So I wanted to do this video because I am about to move out of my parents' house and um, I get a lot of questions about this room and where all of the furniture is from and everything like that. And this is the last time this room will ever be set up the way it is. So I kind of wanted to do it not only for myself, for like memories and like, you know, just to remember how everything was, but also because like I said, I get a lot of questions about where everything is from and like whatever. So I thought that I would do a little room tour for you guys before I move out. I hope that you guys enjoy this video. If you do, please give it a thumbs up and be sure you are subscribed down below if you love home decor and room tours and everything like that because like I said I am moving into a new house my first house I'm a homeowner it's crazy but if you want to see my brand new house empty house tour um once I get it furnished decorated I'll do another house tour I am gonna have like a closet slash office in my new house so I will film that if you are interested in any of that sort of stuff definitely be sure you are subscribed down below without further ado let's get started with today's room tour so when you open up the door to my room this is exactly what you see so I guess it's not the prettiest sight in the world with all of these wires but honestly it doesn't bother me because I need all of those things and I mean you're just gonna have wires you know. So as I said this is your view when you come in I'm just going to quickly do an overview of the room. <music> if you immediately take a left in my room this is what you see so I do have this big closet right here it just has like trifold doors um, I hate the color of these doors but this is my parents house it is not my house so if you open this closet this is what you see so it's basically just used for extra storage nothing too crazy about it over here on this like rod that just kind of hangs like that we just have a bunch of scarves we have an extra quilt down there then this little thing is my jewelry armoire that i got from pier one a long time ago it's a little bit broken but that's okay it just holds all of my jewelry so it has like necklaces right there and then i have like silver necklaces over here and then all of my like other jewelry in there as well and then it has two extra drawers for storage at the bottom. Up top, I just have my perfumes. I got this tray also from Pier 1 a long time ago, and I just have all of my perfumes sitting on it. Up top, we just have an assortment of bins that I use for storage. Over here, we keep my Cricut machine and my printer. Then on this shelf, it's honestly just storage that is not organized at all. A lot of it is empty boxes that I like want to keep but I don't really like need access to so I keep those over there. We just have some things stored for our house over there. Then I just have this decorative little um, floral sort of situation here. I actually really like that though. I think it's really pretty even though it just lost a flower there. And then apparently I just have a seashell. This used to have a bracelet organizer and some other stuff on it, but we've already packed it. And then this little thing you can't really see because of my dress is hanging in front of it, but this is just an organizer from the container store. It is very unorganized and it is like stuffed. Like these are all bathing suits. So here and here are bathing suits. This is leggings and a few bathing suits, um, which means I really need to go through my bathing suits because I do not need that many. And then down here is like winter like socks and beanies and stuff like that. And over there, you literally just have a bunch of coats. This is kind of like my coat closet. So I have leather jackets, fur coats, um, puffer coats. And then I also have back here 
any of my long dresses or jumpsuits as well. I also have my designs that I made for my fashion show when I was in college and my like graduation gown and all of that sentimental stuff as well. So yeah, that is this closet. This one is not as organized as the rest of my room but that is okay because we just shut the door. So then right here next to that closet, once we have it closed, I just have my little rolling rack that I got from Amazon. I love this rolling rack. So I got this when I started making YouTube videos and it made my life so much easier. So basically I just put underneath any like items that I'm going to need to use for a video. As you can see, I have a lot of videos to film because that is kind of messy right now or not even messy but just like overfilled and then up top I don't really have it organized right now because I am moving in like literally two days so it's kind of a mess right now but usually I just keep on here new items that I'm like wanting to wear things that I want to take a picture in for like Instagram or my blog and then also things that I want to show in a video so maybe like things for a haul video or whatever I'm doing. So this has been so useful to just not have to keep all of those things that I might use for videos in a really crowded closet. So this has been perfect and it's super cheap from Amazon. I think it was like $50, maybe even cheaper than that. I'm not sure, but I will link it down below. So now I guess we will go back to my desk that we saw when we first came in. So here is the desk when I am standing at the clothing rack and looking the opposite direction. So this white desk is from Ikea. And then the white Alex drawers to the left of the desk, they are also from Ikea. So first over here on the side, I just have this little acrylic organizer. Honestly, this is kind of like a junk drawer. It has some like mints and lotion in it and then some extra little um, car scent thingies for my Bath & Body Works car scentable thing. Then if you come around here, we just have a lovely picture frame of me and my fiance from a... Um, date party when I was in a sorority in college back here We just have this like hair tool organizer. I've had this since I was in college It's actually really useful because it's like plastic. It doesn't burn super easily I had an acrylic one and it like melted completely So I don't recommend the acrylic ones unless you don't put hot tools in there I don't remember where I got this lamp from I believe it might have been Kirkland's or something like that then over here in this corner I have a little bucket to the right with my like makeup fan that I got in Spain some lotion some um, face serums then I have a bucket of pens and pencils and scissors and then in the very back I just have my care of vitamins that I try to take daily but Honestly, I haven't been very good at it lately. Then beside of those, I just have these two little things. One is just a heart-shaped jewelry tray. I believe that is from Kate Spade. And then I just have this cute little owl thing that holds bobby pins and Q-tips. And then I just have my water bottle sitting there as well. So then you can see me in the mirror. Um, this mirror is from Home Goods, I believe. That's where I get all of my mirrors. They have the best selection of affordable mirrors so this one has been great i just leaned it up against the wall from my desk honestly it's worked out great for me i love doing my hair in this mirror you can just see everything so i like how big it is then i just have my laptop sitting on the desk then over here in this corner so i first have my little makeup mirror so this is just an impressions vanity mirror i really like it so you can um, turn it on just like that. Mine's kind of dirty right now. Um, but you can turn it on. You can dim it. I don't know how to because I never really do that. There you go. Um, and it also plays music and apparently charges your phone. I don't really use those functions, but if you wanted to, you can. And there's the wire for that. Next to it, we just have this beautiful tree jewelry organizer. My fiance got me this for Christmas from Anthropology, and I really love it. Then in this back corner, we just have my makeup brushes in the very... Then right here, I just have an organizer of MAC lipstick. So this is just an acrylic organizer that I probably got on Amazon. I'm not exactly sure, but I like that this just holds all of my MAC lipsticks. Then right here, this little silver container just holds my Jaclyn Hill Morphe brush set that I use daily so I just keep it right here and then I just have my little ring holder on top. So that is it for the desk and I forgot to mention that this chair is from Ikea as well I believe. Fun fact about this chair, when I was moving 
I had it on the back of like a, my dad had it on the back of like a trailer and the cushion that actually goes with the chair that matches the white leather flew off so I've been using that little kitchen seat chair that you like tie around your kitchen chairs so that's interesting so then next to my desk we have our Alex 9 drawer so I love this drawer system. I recommend it to anyone. It is from Ikea and it is amazing. Like in here I just keep some like books. I have a wedding planner binder. In here I just keep more like stationary type stuff. A file system right here for all important things. This drawer is super messy. It is just, it is just my hair drawer. I really need to pack that. Then we just have my makeup palette drawer. Um, I actually recently did a declutter of my makeup, so if you guys are interested in that, I basically show all of my makeup collection in that, so if you want to see that, I will link it down below. Those are blushes. These are bronzers, highlighters, and some eyeshadows. Then we have face powders, mascaras, eyebrow stuff. Here we have primers and foundations. And then in the very top drawer, we just have lipsticks, deodorant, chapsticks, things like that. Now... For the top of the Alex 9 drawer so first I just have this adorable little giraffe jewelry holder sitting right here I just have some of my bracelets in it and a pair of earrings it looks like or maybe that's a bracelet yep then I have this really cute picture of me and two of my college roommates actually my sister-in-law got this for me for um, graduation it's so cute if you like shake it up it just like has like all the glitter flying everywhere it's really cute and it's super cute because we were blowing confetti in this picture so when you shake it it looks like we were like blowing glitter then i have this bracelet organizer i got this from home goods um i love it because it's like gold and it's like super super girly and really pretty it's like a statement piece in your room then down here i just have a little gucci box those are housing some earrings and right here we just have a leaves candle on this really old little candle holder that i think i got on sale at pier one um, they're kind of broken though, so I probably will get rid of those when I move. Then back here, we just have a little decorative piece here. Um, first, it is sitting on this sliced wood piece. It looks like a tree trunk kind of. The only thing I don't like about it is it sheds like crazy. I literally just dusted this, but you it's not even dust. It's just like, it's the tree trunk shredding, shedding. I can't even say that. Tree trunk shedding. Anyways, it's kind of annoying, but I think it looks really cute. And then this little ball thing right here, I don't know where it's from. I think probably Kirkland's. I don't know. My This is like all stuff my mom helped me shop for when I was literally moving into my first college apartment, sophomore year. So I still had it. I still have it all these years later, and I don't really remember where it's from. But I'm going to guess that because she loves Kirkland, so we were always in there. Then it just has some little white twigs and brown twigs and then floral twigs in it as well. So that is what the drawer system looks like. Then right next to it, we have a coat rack. So honestly, this is basically just for extra storage for me, um, but it is really cute. I got this a long, long time ago. And I believe it is from Pier 1. On either side, I use this for storage for, like, overnight bags. So here's, like, my Herschel bag. And then that is actually my work bag that I carry my laptop in every day from CalPAC. Since it is wintertime, I have my parkas hanging. Um, so I have that one. I have some fuzzy coats underneath. I have my Victoria's Secret robes and then the two robes that I wore when I was in my sister-in-law's weddings. Wide brim hats and then we have some baseball caps for summertime, mostly when I go to the lake or do anything like that. So that is kind of that little area right there. Then moving over, you can't, sorry I have like a weird shadow because of the blinds, but Oh well, we need the light in here, so. But yeah, honestly, this isn't too exciting. It's just my dresser, and honestly, this thing is so old and so dingy. It's huge, so it's been great for storing things for me, because it is literally giant. It's just a little, you know, beaten up. So the bro the bottom drawer is broken. It's missing a knob right there. It has, like, all sorts of, like, stains of, like, candles and stuff up here. What I'm thinking is like possibly one day in the future sanding this down and painting it white and then adding new knobs. This would be really pretty. I've actually already unpacked most of this. So I just have like one sweatshirt in there. Um, I have like a few, yeah, it's really not organized. T-shirts and stuff in there. 
And then these two drawers are like my bras, underwears, tank tops, bralettes, body suits, anything like that. Yeah, it's really dirty actually too, so sorry about that. And then above it I just have my TV and like receiver for direct TV. Alrighty, moving along. Next to that we have this lovely bookshelf here in the corner. Just have my huge tripod and its carrying case sitting right there. Then to speak of the elephant in the room, this is just my ring light that's like sitting here chilling. If you do videos, you know you really can't do anything with this ring light. I mean, it's just so stupid to put it in storage because you're constantly getting it back out because I film with it um, almost, I mean, definitely weekly. So it just is easiest for me to leave it right there. And honestly, it doesn't bother me at all. It's kind of tucked away right there, so I don't mind it. So for the bookshelf, up top, we just have a few different things. On the left, I just have a little ticket entrance sort of cute holder. It's supposed to be like a holder for movie tickets or like maybe tickets for when you went on a trip. My brother-in-law actually got that for me so that was super nice. And then in the back we just have another decorative acrylic container with some potpourri. Then we just have this really cute gold giraffe that my brother and sister-in-law got me. And then this Mr. and Mrs. Pumpkin. I know it's like totally past pumpkin season. I just have it out because I like the color and I think it looks good right there. And I honestly haven't put it away. Um, but my other brother and sister-in-law got me that. Then the next shelf is kind of creepy because you have two animal eyes staring right at you. I know, kind of weird. But the, so first it's just an owl that is honestly just functional use right now. I'll probably get rid of it once I move. But right now it has a ton of change in it. So I need to empty him and count the change and everything like that. This guy, I know, kind of weird, kind of creepy, but everyone knows I love giraffes. Um, clearly, there's one up there, but this one is a stuffed giraffe. Obviously, I'm a little old to have stuffed giraffes, but I got him in Germany, and it was a trip with my family. Super fun trip, and honestly, it was like a huge joke that entire trip. We named him Jerry, and he's just kind of sentimental, so I'm keeping him for now. I think he's cute. Possibly passing him down to a future kid, you never know, um, or niece or nephew. We'll see. But then we have this little XOXO sign. My fiance got me that for Christmas one year. Then we have a little gold picture frame. I really love the frame, but I did this little DIY Chanel framed bag. I don't know why I did that, but I did that when I was super young. Yeah, it's kind of just like a little DIY project. My first little Chanel bag with the gold rose. I wanted to preserve it, and I thought it looked cuter than having just a regular picture in here, so that's what I did. Once we move out, I'll probably get rid of the Chanel bag, but keep the gold frame because I really like that frame. Then moving down, we just have another XOXO canvas. I got this for decoration in my um, sophomore year apartment of college. Here we have some giraffe and zebra pepper, salt and pepper shakers that are really cute and they will be going in our kitchen. Then we just have this little wine glass that is from my brother and sister-in-law's um, rehearsal dinner and it's just filled with some wine corks. Have a little candle from Anthropology. I love this candle. It is lemon poppy seed. It is so good. Here I just have my New York frame. I don't have a picture for it yet, so I just put two little Polaroids of Patrick and I in there. Then down here, we just have this tray. I believe I got this on sale years ago, but like probably eight or so years ago. I think it might be from Kirkland's. Not sure though, I'm sorry, but I just use it right here to store my lotions and body sprays. Moving down, we just have an assortment of DVDs. And I know what you're thinking, why do you really have DVDs? No one really watches those anymore. And you are correct, but I am low-key a hoarder and I've gotten rid of most of them, but I can't get rid of these. So they're just hanging out here for now. Then right here I have a picture of me and my best friend when we went to the Cayman Islands, of course, and we literally look so tan in that picture. I probably think that's the tannest I've ever been. I love that picture of us though. It's so cute. Then right here we have another little wine glass and it's just in this cute little koozie that I got from my sister-in-law. Then on either side of the DVDs we just have these little bookends that say love and um, if you don't know my fiance's last name is love so that will be my last name so I am holding on to those. I think they will look good possibly in our bedroom or I don't know somewhere. 
So holding on to those. And then down here on the last shelf, we just have some books and organizational things. Right here, I just have two little organizer things. These are housing like paper clips and notepads, stationary stuff like that. Then in the back, we have some books. Then we have some coffee table books. Then we have like a little planner, a Bible, um, another Erin Condren planner that is old and some little files right here. And I just have this really cute plant and I don't know where this is from, but it is from Kirkland's. It was $7, so <laughs> there you go. So that is the bookshelf. Then moving on from the bookshelf, I just have this trunk right here. I actually purchased this from Craigslist. Um, I believe my sophomore year of college when I was decorating my room, I've had the same furniture uh, ever since then. I love this though. I met up with the girl, got it from Craigslist. I love how like vintage it looks. And then I just have this little blanket thrown over top. Um, I honestly have no idea where that blanket's from. I think Home Goods actually. Then you can see me looking like a bum right here, but that is okay. So this is my mirror um, in my room. You can kind of see my ring light as well. But yeah, I love this mirror. It is also from Home Goods. Moving on over here, we have a bin of dog toys because my dogs that are actually my parents' dogs, they're always in my room. So they needed their own bin in here specifically. They are so spoiled. Then over here, we just have this gold bin. This gold bin is from Target. It is really, really cute. You can kind of see what it looks like right there. But right now I have a bunch of blankets in it. I love this bin though. It looks really good. Just like holding your blankets and pillows. I think it's so cute. Then from there we have the window at my house. And then we have this little bookshelf that I added this year. It is kind of a cluttered mess right now. But I love the top of it because it just has my little Keurig. Which I got for Christmas this year. I love this little Keurig. It is so great and that will definitely be coming to the new house with me then we just have my little polar bear right here from bath and body works having um housing a candle we have two little mugs in the back and then i have this mug organizer as well and then we have a little giraffe i someone got me that i don't know who but really cute i think my mom probably then the first shelf i just have this cute little succulent thing right here i don't really have a home for it i don't know so i'm gonna take it to the new house and find a home for that that's better than on the first tier of a bookshelf we have some games back there then we have six candles sitting right here this is honestly the junk drawer of the room so i'm not even gonna like show you guys what's in there it just has like my headphones any wires that i don't know what they're to um, lighter for my candles. Then moving down one shelf, we have some binders and photo albums here. And then in this drawer, I just have some travel bags, more photo albums. Then in this bucket, we just have all of my cups. I know, it's crazy. And it's a ridiculous amount of cups. I do not need that many cups and water bottles. So it's like all my swell bottles, my Yeti cup. This holds an entire bottle of wine. My sister-in-law got me that for Christmas. And then some wine glasses, like durable wine glasses, like stainless steel wine glasses too. And then the bottom shelf is really boring. It's literally just some leftover like decorations and picture frames that I had up in college that I don't have anywhere for now. Then we have a candle, a bunch of more candles there. And then this holds my little wallflower scents for now. And then we just have some books over there, a keto book, and then a couple children's books that I'm saving for whenever I have kids one day. So that is that little bookshelf right there. Then over here in this corner, we just have my little wallflower that's super cute from Bath and Body Works. Then going over in this corner, we have my most asked about shelves over here, and these are the lap shelves from ikea so i guess we will start from the bottom so first i just have a little pair of slippers right there we have some wires down below because like i said wires are unavoidable down there we just have a bucket of like medicines there's like hauls in there i think there's like sleeping masks my little bath and body work sleep mist then on the next little um section i just have my apple watch and its charger I have some skincare stuff back there in case I forget to do a full skincare routine and I just want to put some moisturizer on or a serum. Then I just have a picture frame of me and some college friends. Moving up, we just have my Amazon Echo. <laughs> Not going to say her name, but I love this. It is the Echo Show 
now she's listening oh no she's not but i just have a little picture of my little dogs they are so cute and adorable i'm obsessed with them then i just have my iphone charger right here and my tv remotes in the back moving up i have this lamp that i also got from ikea when i got all of my bedroom furniture and then i just have two little books right there on the next shelf i just have a little um, fake floral arrangement that I believe is from Home Goods, and then I just have this little Valentine's Day holder that I got from the Target dollar spot and then back there I just have my birth control and glasses two essentials up next we just have a gold picture frame with me and my college roommate then at the very top we have my pink Polaroid camera a light up K marquee letter and then a cute little unicorn headband because that's necessary so that is what we have there backing up I will talk to you guys about my bed and this little thing at the end of my bed so this thing at the end of my bed is super nice I got it from home goods and it just houses all of my sweatshirts so I have too many sweatshirts I know but I really like it it's cute functional my dogs love to lay on it works for all of us the bed itself is from Ikea I really like it because it has drawers underneath so it's great for extra storage so like in here I just have all of my athletic wear and this one I have more sweatshirts so I love that bed from Ikea it has been nothing but great for me then my quilt that i have on my bed i believe is from target a couple years back this blanket is from bed bath and beyond i love these blankets they are so soft they have them in like a ton of different colors then for the pillows on my bed the front one is from target the other two i believe are from home goods then we have my body pillow right here that pillow and pillowcase are from amazon my Beyonce's parents got me that. The lights above my bed I got on sale at Home Goods, and then the three little pictures that you see above my bed are from Target. That's what we have going on there. Then when you get to the other side of my bed, you have this little fuzzy rug right here, and this is from Amazon. The other two drawers, like I was telling you guys, this one just has my jeans in it, and then this one is probably a literal mess. Yeah, I'm not even gonna open that. That has my shorts in it. Over here, we have another pair of slippers from Target. Then on the bottom shelf, I just have a picture frame of me and my mom, a little fake plant, this cool decorative piece that just has some turquoise potpourri that is so old, I need to get rid of that. But I really like this little thing, I believe. Honestly, I'm not even gonna try to guess where that's from because I have no idea. Next, we just have another one of these lamps from Ikea. A little acrylic cupcake because, I don't know, I just saw it and thought it was cute a long time ago, so I bought it. And then another little glass jewelry organizer back there. Next, we just have another fake plant. It's the same one that was over there just like turned a different way and then we have a Gucci box back there and then up here we have two Chanel boxes and a little gold pineapple and then up there we have more gold decorations so we just have this huge gold feather and then another little gold giraffe so that is it for the lac shelves you guys always ask me about those so I will try to have them linked in the bottom bar then if you back up a little bit I have this recliner in my room this is just like so old it was in here when this was my brother's room and we just kept it in here when I moved in because the space is so big that like I mean it fits so why not keep it plus when I keep my dogs for my parents Ben at my Labrador retriever sleeps in the bed with me and then our English Bulldog sleeps right here in this recliner so this is kind of his seat which is why it's kind of gross kind of picked at very old but it's functional so that's that and then over here in this corner next to the lac shelves we have my walk-in closet door behind the couch i just have yet another pair of slippers those are my ugg slippers love those this thing is like a radio system my parents house is like kind of strange in the fact that it has this like radio system throughout the whole house so like at Christmas time, I absolutely love it and I'm gonna miss this so much because like me and my mom would wake up, we turn on the Christmas music, blast it through the whole house and it's so fun. Um, and then I just have another picture of me and my two college roommates. We had a little photo shoot so we have a ton of those pictures like everywhere. And then if you open my walk-in closet, here we have a ridiculous amount of crossbody bags with an over-the-door hook. That is from Amazon. 
and all of these crossbody bags are kind of insane that's why I'm so happy to have somewhere to display them in my new house um, a lot of these I could probably get rid of but you know and I'm not gonna give like a full in-depth closet tour but here is the gist of it there I have some tennis shoes all around that shelf I have tennis shoes and on this long rack I have all of my dresses underneath the two bins I have a shoe storage for sandals slip-ons tennis shoes whatever underneath my dresses I also have another shoe storage thing going in further i just have a bunch of shoe shelves right here up top we just have bins with um puffer vests those are like costumes from college that i need to get rid of and that far right one some stuff for our house beach bags clutches skirts um anything like that then on the left side we just have two long racks one on the top and one on the bottom on the bottom here i have mostly sweaters back in the back is like cardigans and jackets and then up here is like tops and tank tops i know i have an absurd amount of clothing that is my closet it's not the most organized thing and i'm not one of those people that like color codes everything but it is what it is so we will shut that but yeah so once we are out of my closet we are just back at this side of the room and that is about it guys then you exit this way and i did forget to mention i also have an over the door hook um i guess they're two separate hooks on the back of my door as well and i just keep extra coats and then any like big like canvas bags like this tory birch one and um, my neverfull my longchamp all of that stuff so that is it guys Okay guys, so that is going to be it for today's video. I really hope that you guys enjoyed my room tour. If I left anything out, definitely be sure to leave a comment in the comment section down below and ask me anything. Where Where is this from? Where is that from? Um, any questions that you might have that I didn't mention in the video, definitely leave them down below and I will be sure to answer them. And if you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up and be sure you are subscribed down below so you don't miss any of the moving sort of um videos that i was talking about doing earlier but that is all i have to say for this video so thank you guys so much for watching and i will talk to you very soon in my next video bye guys